Hello, my name is Alexandra Seidel-Lauer and I work for the German-French Chamber of Commerce and Industry in Paris. We do help companies to make business in France. Of course, we provide hard facts like information on legal system and tax system. But if you want to be successful in France, you also need some soft skills. International businessmen and women often do mistakes when they come to France because they don't have the cultural cues. So today I will tell you some do's and don'ts in France because we want that you are successful in France. When you come to France, you probably debark in Paris. And if you have a look at the Eiffel Tower, it really reflects the French hierarchical system. It's very centralized. The business culture in France is very vertical hierarchically. So on the top is the boss. He's called the président, the president. So one thing you should have in mind, if you have important decisions to take, always try to talk to the boss, to the president. Which doesn't mean you neglect your business network. You really need to work on a network, get to know people on all the hierarchies. But keep in mind, the decision process is very centralized. And that shows in the whole country. Paris is not only the capital, it's the political, cultural and economic center of France. One fifth of the population lives in Paris and one third of the economic wealth is produced in the Paris region. But if you come to Paris or to France, you don't need to install in Paris. You can also have a look at other regions and other cities like Lille, Nantes, Bordeaux, Marseille, Lyon. They have a great startup culture and you can avoid the really high re real estate prices that suffer people in Paris. Imagine you have your first business meeting. What is France known for? Luxury, elegance and really good clothes. So forget about your sneakers and jeans. Please make an effort. It's really important because if you're well dressed, that means you show respect for your business partners. Okay, you might hate ties, but be smart. Be smart for your business meetings, especially if they are on a high ranking level. If you come to France and you want to make business, you need to change your perception of time. No, I'm not going to hit into the cliche and say French people are always late because they are not. Okay, don't get stressed if your business partner is 10 minutes late and you're on a date and you wait for 20 minutes. Well, that's normal. But what I want to say, your perception of time is different. You need to know that things take a lot longer in France, even for making business. France is a very bureaucratic country. That means you need a lot of time to do all the paperwork. So if you want to find a business, be prepared to spend a lot more time. Second of all, to get to know your business partner, you need to more time. Why? Because for French people, human beings are in the center. So they want to build up a relationship. They want to get to know you. You might have great products, a great idea, but you don't want to spend time people get to know you. Forget France. Here you need to spend time that people build up a relationship. They get to know you as a person. Seduce them. Make them want to work with you. And keep in mind, lose time is gain time. Okay? Because if you spend time to get to know you, you will gain on your business. Let's have a look at the social behavior. As I said, French people are human-centered. 
They want to get to know their business partner and for them it's important to build trust. They are very emotional, so they need emotions to want to work with you. Positive emotions. They want to work with you. Make them want to work with you. That means spend time with them also to like food. You might come from a culture where eating is loss of time. Oh no! I'm German and I live 15 years here and I got to know to love food. Because eating with people is also a very social moment to exchange, to debate and to get to know each other. So start liking food and get to know French food. Because this is also part of the French culture. And you better like it and you must like it. It's wonderful. Business lunches are opportunity to get to know each other. So it's not an occasion to talk about business. It's an occasion to talk about yourself. Think about interesting topics and keep in mind you will deal with very educated people, especially on a high level. So good topics for discussions is culture, is art, history, food and wine, and of course the beauty of France. And also, as they are very personal, don't be shy to talk about your family. Private topics can be discussed and make you more open, more trustful. If you are not married and don't have kids, don't worry, you can always talk about your hobbies like parachuting. Last thing, French love their language. They even have a law that obliges company to translate all the expression into French. If you look at the English typical expressions like email, it's courriel. Or the at sign is arrobase. Because the language is so important, please make an effort. Okay, you don't have the time to learn French fluently. Please pick up some words. So at least you make an impression and show respect that you at least try. And if you do that, doors will open and you will be surprised. Some tips about the working mode. French people are multifunctional. They can do million things at a time. Sometimes international business women and men are disturbed because they see French people having so many projects going on at the same time. Don't worry, that's the way they do it. And keep cool, they can handle it. A typical thing in France are meetings. French love meetings. A study has shown that a normal employee spends six and a half hours per week in meetings. So as I talked about the time issue, please be prepared to spend some time in meetings. And also the perception of meetings in France is different. Don't expect to meet with people and have a decision right away. Meetings in France are more occasions to exchange ideas, to debate and to really get new ideas. And don't come with a prepared agenda. You might have some topics that you want to get through, but don't come with a lined up point and point and say, that's my agenda, please let's go through. You offend your French business partners. So be open and flexible. So you are already involved in a project with a French business partner. Let's go planning. You might have a different way of planning projects. I take the example of Germany. German projects manager, they love to have a long detailed project planning phases. And then the realization is quick and done. French are different. They have a small project planning phases. For them it makes no sense to detail plan everything because they know in the realization phase there are a lot of things that can happen and they must be flexible. So 
you'll be flexible as well to adapt on their project management mode. How to get your information? In some countries, information is provided if you want it or not. Sometimes with big papers, big reports, very, very much information at one time. This stresses your French business partners. In French, you need to go fishing for information. You have some information here and there. So be aware that you need more time to get maybe all information, but you can be lucky that you also get more information maybe that you think it's useful. So also take time to drink a coffee with your French business partner. You might get the chance to have a lot of information from him. Most important, communication. Of course, it's all about communication. So let's have a look how French people communicate. In some countries, Germany, communication is very direct. You tell what you think, what you feel, or what you think must be said. French people are not like this. As I said, they're very polite, they're very educated, so they don't want to insult somebody. So they kind of formulate very indirect their opinion or their critics. They don't critic directly. So you need to read between the lines. You need to feel what they want to tell you because you won't get a no. They usually say it's difficult, which means a no. Also, be careful to criticize. In some countries, you might think critics are constructive. They might, but be careful you don't hurt your business partner. They don't think it's an insult or you don't agree to them what they say. So, it doesn't hurt to be eloquent. Think twice before you formulate a critics or you give your opinion. And French are very polite, they have style. So keep that in mind in your communication style in general. 